Hello, and this is Harold again from Hidden Room Studio. Right now I'm working on an epic trailer music track, which is for a, well, showcase of some trailer music. And here I would like to show you how you can use the Cubase step sequencer to make it easy for you to put in some arpeggios or ostinatos. So let's get started. So the idea is to have some violins, the track, playing an ostinato, which is a kind of arpeggio. And there are different methods how you can do that. You can play it, but then you have to quantize it and maybe you have to correct it. Or you can just use your mouse to put it in, or you can use the step sequencer. So let me show you how this is working. So first what we need is on the track is a part that we can use in the MIDI editor. So I am using my pencil tool up here, draw on 8, to make a new part here for my first violins, which I hear that I solo it so you can hear it. And then I go into the editor and show you what you can do here. So this is my editor now and you can see up here in global drags lane I have my chords. I like to have my chords here. Let's zoom that in a little bit so we see the whole part. And the idea is to have the step input um, which is working like a hardware step sequencer. So you have different steps. Whenever you press a note on your MIDI keyboard, this has to be a MIDI keyboard or MIDI entry, it will go to the next step and record what you did. Let me show you how you can do that. You find here up here the step input tool, uh, which looks like Tetris here. And if you don't see that, you have to go to the settings here and uh, tick step MIDI input. Let me untick it so it's gone. And if you tick that, you can have it here. So that means whenever I press here, this one, it's in step mode. And let me show you, let me zoom in. You need that blue line, which is here on the front. And whenever I click here somewhere, it will start somewhere here. You see, it will start from here or from here. So that means Whenever I input a note, it will input this note in the length that I have here in quantize length. And then it will jump to the next quantize setting. Let me show you. I am in the step input mode. Then I click here on the beginning bar. Then the blue line is jumping here. Then I hit any note like this. And it will input the note here C3 in this bar here, the beginning of the bar will jump to the next eighth. Then I take the next note, and the next note, and the next note, and the next note. Let's go here, next note, like this. And then you will be able to put in notes depending on the quantize setting you have. And you can also do that with chords, like this, and this, and this. So the advantage of this is that you have your velocity. Let's go here and look at the velocity. Your normal velocity you put in, but you don't have to worry about quantizing or correcting your notes, depending on how you yeah, put the notes in and if you put in the right notes. So let me show you what I do with that ostinato or arpeggio. I am in the step input mode. You can see up here that input, step input. Um, control is activated, then I click here at the beginning of my phrase of the beginning of my part and it's A minor is starting, so I have my chord track up here, not to control anything, but there's no pad, so I know what chords I need. And then I'm changing this thing to the quantize to eighth triplet, this is what I want. And then I'm starting with the A minor chord to start here. So this is the first phrase and I can stop any time and it will continue. You see down here that you have the velocity. Then let's go further. Now I'm on C major. Then I go here, play that C major. Then I'm going to D minor. Uh, let's take the first inversion of that, which is here. Now, you know the deal, you can see that. Let me move on and I'm back in a moment. So now I'm back and I put everything in. And what you see here is that I have my dynamics I use for pressing the keys on my keyboard. And this is the ostinato or arpeggio, all the same notes. You can also change the notes on the way if you want to. 
or use different quantized lengths, so we have short or longer notes, sounds like this. Yes, so this is a fast and easy way to put in notes and arpeggios with the natural dynamics you play on the keyboards without having to worry about, for example, the speed. If it's too fast for you to play, you can use this. Or if you don't want to use the mouse and uh, click multiple times and use a lot of time by putting the notes in. I hope this is helpful for you. This is a very interesting feature in Cubase. I think you will hardly find any videos that shows that in YouTube because people don't use that anymore and I'm not a big fan of putting all the notes in with a mouse because that doesn't sound musical for me. Uh, it's easier for me to put in a keyboard so maybe this is a helpful idea for you. This has been Harold from Hidden Room Studio. Hope to see you next time. If you like it, subscribe, leave a uh, comment, leave a message. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.